Hi everyone, it's Miss Susan here from the Central Library of the Buffalo and Erie County Public Library and I am back here with another online family art break. I don't know about you but I got way too much sun this weekend. Under makeup, I am so sunburned. So it's kind of nice to have a little thing that you can do in the house for a little while. I encourage everyone to be outside as much as possible but with all this sun and all this heat sometimes it's nice just to sort of come in, make some art, drink some water, and uh, make something beautiful. Okay, so today what we're gonna do is some um, paint pouring. It's pretty cool. Um, it's something that I have seen on the internet a lot and I wanted to try it at home and I wanna try it with the kids and see if we can make some fun art that we can hang up on our walls. Um, I went to the dollar store last week for the first time in a long time and found some awesome stuff. I found these little stretched canvases for a dollar, pretty great. You can also use like a heavy duty construction paper or cardstock. Um, I think cardstock is probably the best. It just needs to be something that can um, hold up to our paint pouring. Um, but yeah, check out the dollar store, pretty awesome. Um, you also need um, paint. These are acrylic paints. That's what most of the videos online show, people doing using acrylic paints. I've played with tempera paint and some other types of paint and they do okay, but sometimes the um, colors get a little um, muddy. They don't retain their own shades quite as much. It does a lot of mixing. Um, so it still works if you have tempera or other kinds of paint, um, but it might just be a slightly different effect. Um, so in order to keep our paints from all blending together when we do the pouring, we're going to use glue, school glue, to in, in mix it into our paint to help the paint retain its own color. And it's going to be really cool. So we went and picked up our school supplies uh, a couple weeks ago, like all of our leftover school supplies. And hopefully you two have a little bottle of Elmer's glue hanging around that you can use. Um, so obviously you'll need some cups to put your paint in. And kids, ask your parents, but you would be surprised, almost everybody has this stuff. It's called uh, silicone spray. It's a lubricant that a lot of people use to like, you know, keep your door from squeaking. Or if your window won't open, you can put this in the track and it helps, um, it helps things um, slide up and down easier. Don't grab it without asking. Got to make sure it is the spray lubricant and you're going to want to do this part probably outside if you choose to use it. You don't have to, but it's just kind of a cool thing that makes the paint bubble and then you'll see the things that come up. Um, the colors will kind of blend bubble up from the surface. So it's very cool. So let's get set up and I'm going to show you what to do. Okay, so here's how we get started. I poured glue into each one of these cups, all four. Now, my canvases are very little, so we don't need, my canvas is very little, so we don't need a lot of paint, just a little bit, so you don't need a lot of glue either. So just put like a little tiny, I don't know, quarter of an inch of glue, just fill the bottom of any kind of plastic cup. Um, and you should be able to rinse these out when you're done so you can reuse them. So um, Evan and I are both gonna be doing this. You guys all know Evan. So I have four colors that I'm gonna try and then Evan's gonna do one too. So I picked green and you fill it up in there, give it a squirt. This is kind of like pinky red magenta. This is kind of like a magenta color. Ooh, it's a bright and pretty. Give it a good squirt. This buttery yellow, I'm all about describing the colors. It's buttery, it's like butter. By the way, did you all see Miss Jessie make butter a couple weeks ago on the computer on Saturdays? Miss Jessie does steam challenges here and she made butter by hand. It was really cool. You should check out that video too. And some silver. Now you can get these in really small containers. Um, these paints, so it's nice, you know, if you see one here or see one there, you can pick them up and then you'll have a nice collection. So then you'll see when we stir, the colors are going to mix in with the glue. And you really can't even tell that the glue is in there, but it helps the colors to sort of maintain their shade when we do the pouring. So green, just stir them up really well. And you can tell it's nice to use a clear cup because then you can see 
when it's all really well mixed. I'll be right back after I finish mixing all of my paints. Okay, so my paints are all mixed with the glue. And I know these cups are blue, so it makes it a little hard to see the plastic, the plastic cup is blue. But you'll see that it all mixed in very well. It doesn't even, you can't even see the glue in here. As I say a million times, this glue dries clear, so I guess that's part of the deal. So they call this a flip cup measure, and a method, excuse me, flip cup method. So you need a little cup. You probably need a bigger cup if you did a bigger canvas, but this is just a little canvas, so we just need a little cup. So what we do is, I think I might put in a little bit of glue at the bottom just to help it flow a little better. Ooh. A little glue at the bottom of the cup. My cup is, my cup is a little runny. Um, and then I'm going to start mixing my colors. And you can repeat the colors more than once, whatever you want. I'm hoping you can see this. But you pour it in to your cup. Do, 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 do. Oh, this is the fun part. So there's the silver. There's some yellow. And you'll see when you pour it in, they don't mix because the glue is helping it to maintain its color without mixing. Oh, this, this is gonna be pretty together. Here's some of this fun pink. Sorry, right on here. Pink and some green. And again, if there's colors that you really like and you want to mix again, just you can pile it on a little bit. I like this. Silver. Now, if you want to, you can also do a stir. Some people do like a swirl like this. Oh, that's cool. And then like an X shape. Criss, cross, criss, cross. Okay. So as you see, our paint is mixed in there already, but it hasn't blended together or changed shades, which is pretty cool. So guess what we do next? You know what we do. We're going to flip the cup onto the canvas. So some people just dump it or other people will take the canvas like this for a little less mess and flip. So we're going to let it sit for a second. And let's just imagine that all the paint is starting to flow down into, what do you think? I think it's flowing into like a puddle, right? So we'll just let it sit for a sec and we will see what happens. Okay, so this has been sitting for just a minute or two and I'm really excited to see what's going to happen when we lift up the cup. So some people do like a drag technique when they pick it up, but I'm just gonna. Uh, oh, whoa, cool. And then you let it drip for a sec. Well, it's so cool. And then you'll see there's all this paint and you can slide it around on your canvas. Now, I know some of you might want to use more paint because it'll be more fun, but I feel like if you have a lot of patience, it turns into something really, really cool. And because we use that glue, the colors haven't done any sliding. Now, I have some clumps here, which I don't know. I think maybe I didn't stir well enough, so I'm just going to pull those out. But some of the textures is good, right? If you think about, if you've been to like the Albright Knox or something, if you think about Jackson Pollock or some of those other artists that we've seen out there, um, sometimes they have chunks and things in their paintings and it's cool. Now, I really wanna try the silicone thing. So again, double check with your parents to see if it's okay and that it's something that you can use. You might wanna try this outside, but for the sake of um, TV, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Three, two, one. Oops, it's been my computer. Okay, and let's let that sit. 
and see if it makes it come and do some bubbly business, which I can see it bubbling right now. Oh, it is. It's totally bubbling. I don't know if you can see these little bubbles popping in here. But that is from the silicone. So now it's Evan's turn. We do have a nice clear cup this time, so hopefully we can see a little better what's going on. So Evan, why don't you pour, there's some white paint and glue in there right now. So Evan, why don't you take these and pour it in and we'll, I'll hold it like this so people can see. You do have the picture, the colors he picked. Beautiful. You can swish it around like this if you want or not. It's up to you. Golden. Golden. Yeah. What's next? Purple again. Purple again? Okay. Purple. These are a nice contrast. Do you want more white? Um, what do you think you're good? I don't know. I want more gold. Okay, that's plenty of paint. This is a lot of paint for this little canvas. So now give it a stir, go like one, two, and then make a crisscross X. Like just don't over stir it, just do a little. One, two, crisscross X. Do you wanna do it again? One, two, see. Okay, cool. So let's show everyone how it kinda a lot of gold. started to combine. Okay, so Evan is let it sit for a few, and now it's moment of truth. Evan, lift up the cup. Pancake. <laughs> Funny. So let me take this and now kind of pick it up and swoosh it around slowly and see what happens. Slowly, slowly. Oh, we have a lot of gold. Yeah. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. So let it flow all the way to the edges, okay? Unless you don't want it to. I mean, that's part of the art, right? Let's see how it goes. Okay, Evan is going to try the silicone spray technique. Should I shake it? No, I already shook it. So just do a little light spray. Hold it well up. You know, little way up. Mm -hmm. Okay, now give it a spray. Wherever you want. All right, that's a ton. Okay, so let's see what happens. <laughs> okay, so I did one more using all of the colors that Evan and I used and poured it on with the leftover paint. And wow, it is beautiful. Um, I'm going to post a picture of these when they're dry because they do obviously take a long time to dry. But man, it's fun. It's relaxing. And each one is really, really different. And as you see, it's cool. If you leave some white space, it still looks really good. So I hope you give this one a try. It was really fun. Not as messy as I thought. I mean, we had to wash our hands a bunch, but it was pretty controlled. And um, I think we're going to hang these up, um, you know, in the living room when we're done. They really do look pretty. Uh, so have a great day, have a great week, and we will see you soon. Take care.